As a way of preserving African history and promoting culture and tourism, the Ogun State Ministry of Culture and Tourism unveiled the Kuti Heritage Museum in Abeokuta, Ogun State, as part of the activities lined up for the three-day annual drum festival. The Kutis are being celebrated as one of not just Nigeria, but Africa's notable families that made giant strides in causing positive change. The museum is the residence of Mrs. Fumilaya Ransom Kuti, whose husband, Reverend Israel Ransom Kuti, passed on before she moved to the house. The event began with dancing and an oration of the life of Mrs. Fumilayo Ransom Kuti. <laughs> and was graced by the governor, Ibukunle Amosun. Yes, they will say some people will never die. Uh, our heroes, our icons, most of them, they don't die. Even several years after, people will still remember them. Indeed, the people will now turn their homes into a mecca of some sort. They will turn to a museum, they will turn to people where scholars, generations yet are born will come. And learn one or two things about them. The Commissioner for Tourism and Culture, Mrs. Yewande Amusang, Nobel Laureate, Professor Woli Shoinka, who is a nephew to the late Reverend Ransom Kuti. I remember my uncle with affection. I remember that he wielded a heavy cane. And I think that's how partially how many of us became what we are today. Because of the Reverend I. O. Ransom Kuti, <laughs> known as Daudu. A great disciplinarian, a musician, uh, after which the uh, fellow himself uh, took, and uh, a leader, above all, a great educationist. And, and that education came in many ways. It's a more painful part, which I remember. Members of the Kuti family share their thoughts on the day's events. Not just about her, but generally. The kids are not being taught history the way we were taught history. You know, there are too many influences now. The Western world coming in music, pop, and all that. So it's 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 not encouraging. And then when you when you want to talk to them, I talk to those kids about their heritage, their history. They're like, "What's wrong with this guy? I beg, I beg, please, let's get a life." And it's sad because you have to know where you're coming from to know where you're at before you even know where you're going. The importance of, it, it keeps the, the legacy alive and it's history for our children yet unborn to know, and when I say our children, I'm not talking of my family children, I'm talking of Nigeria's children, Africa's children, to know about the Kuti family, to know about the legacy, to know about their history, because these people are part of history, history that even I, that I'm a Kuti, I'm learning about as well. The event ended with a tour of the building, with personal items used by Mrs. Fumilaya Ransom Kuti on display. It is the hope that with this new museum, more people will come in to appreciate their history and the contribution of the late Reverend Israel Ransom Kuti and his wife Fumilaya Ransom Kuti. <laughs>